Nida and Baron were purebred wolves. They grew up in my grandfather's house from a very young age, almost from birth. Nida was found in the forest when her eyes were still closed. So he named her Nida the Defender. He bought both Nida and Baron from a local hunter about a week later. They were both nursed with a nipple that happened to be left after my cousins chewed it up. Grandpa bought a new one from the pharmacy. Grandpa didn't know if they were siblings from the same litter or from different ones. But they looked exactly the same and grew up like wolf siblings. They got along well, and judging by the fact that they never had their own pups. They were probably related after all. Wolves can sense close kinship and don't mate with such pairs. The wolves were absolutely legendary. The fact that they saved our whole family from a burning house is enough to say. When a fire broke out due to a short circuit at night. Everyone was asleep and. Had already breathed in carbon monoxide and were unconscious. Nida was the first to rush into the house right through the window. Through the tongues of flames. They pulled my older brother out first. He was about five to six years old at the time. Wolves always treated children with reverence in our family. Children were sacred to them. Baron entered the house right after Nida and me, breaking down the door from the inside somehow. So Nida could pull Jaeger out. I went after my mother and pulled her out. Then they both went back inside the house and brought out my grandfather and father. I wasn't born yet at that time. When the ambulance arrived, they took everyone to the hospital. When the firefighters arrived, there was nothing left of the house. They didn't even hose down the neighboring houses so that the fire wouldn't spread. They couldn't save my father. My grandfather was sleeping near the window and my brother was too. But my mother was saved. I was still in her belly at that time. And pregnant women are hardly affected by carbon monoxide. The doctors were worried about me. But I was born healthy. About six months after the fire. I was born. I never got to see Nida's cubs. And there are no photos of her left. So, I could only imagine what she looked like based on my mother and grandfather's stories. But I remember Nida and Baron very well from my early childhood. I didn't realize they were wild forest animals back then. For me, buns and wolves living with us was normal. They were proud, noble, brave. My morning started with me getting out from under the blanket and running to the yard. Nida and Baron would be there on the porch. As usual, front paws crossed over each other. I'd pull Nida's ears and pet her snout. Nida didn't really like such affection. She would growl and grumble deep in her throat and then go off somewhere to lay down. I understood that somehow deep down in her belly. And I would step back right away. As I was going down the stairs, she would always nudge me from behind with her wet nose. And I, unable to resist, would tumble down head over heels. Every time, it was the same. And every time, I knew it would happen. I never got angry with her, instead. I would turn around and wag my finger at her. It was our ritual. Then I would go over to Baron. He would already be sitting by his kennel. I would approach him. Had his snout which was taller than my head, take him with both hands and stretch him in different directions, as if he were smiling. It was our ritual with Baron. Grandpa built the kennel after he rebuilt the house. But I should note that the wolves never used it. I played with my dolls there. Nida never let Baron come close to her, not once. They never ate from the same bowl and never slept together. Only Baron would try to approach her. Even by accident. She would start growling deep inside and Baron would understand her. Just as I understood her. I knew Baron's secret, he loved Nida with all his wolf heart. Wolves are monogamous. 
When they choose someone, it's forever. Baron chose Nida. I don't know from where, but I knew all of this. Maybe I sensed it with my selfless child's heart. Or maybe I just understood the language of animals when I was little. Baron knew that I had uncovered his secret. So we had a strange connection. We were somehow tuned into the same wavelength. I didn't have to give Baron any commands. I didn't even have to open my mouth. I just had to think, and he would nod as if he understood. When I turned five, my mom decided to get married again. My brother was becoming a teenager and wouldn't listen. And everyone said that we needed a man in the house. Especially for Igor, as he was growing into a wild boy. Uncle Ivan seemed cheerful, he brought gifts. And swung us around the yard by the hands. But Igor didn't want to listen to him from the start. That's when Igor started running away from home. Uncle Ivan would shout at Igor. And once, he even grabbed his belt. It happened in the yard, and Nida pounced in one leap and intercepted Uncle Ivan's hand when he swung it at Igor. An ambulance had to be called. And they had to put a few stitches in. Then Mom's husband started demanding that we get rid of the wolves. I saw how much Mom cried at night. When she thought I was asleep in my little corner. And Uncle Ivan didn't swing me around by the hands anymore and didn't bring me candy. Once, they had a big fight with mom. Because I growled at him when he walked by. He confronted me again, and that's when I heard grandpa's footsteps. He said that the wolves were his. And no one was getting rid of them. He said he'd buy boards and build them a fence. But Ivan couldn't count on anything more. Soon, the enclosure was ready. The wolves didn't understand what was happening to them. They used to move around the yard freely and even enter the house. But now, they had to stay locked up. The door would creak constantly as they scratched at it with their paws. And Baron would howl at night. He would lie quietly in a corner of the enclosure. Then Uncle Ivan started drinking. He would come in the evenings, later and later. He often stumbled around and was brought back by friends. Mom cried, but she couldn't do anything. Igor was 14 years old by then. And that's when Uncle Ivan started drinking more heavily. Igor ran away from home for good, leaving a note for Mom. In order to prevent her from crying at night. I lost my helper and protector from the harmful stepfather. I couldn't even imagine what an important role my brother played for me. He absorbed all the negativity and anger of our uncle. Which started coming my way in his absence. When Ivan was at work, I would let the wolves run around the yard. Play with them like before, and then lock them up again. They would enter the enclosure on their own. As if they knew the routine had changed. There were no more morning rituals as before. Our house became a place of sorrow and desperation in my heart. One day, Uncle Ivan was accused of theft at work. He needed money to buy his favorite drink. The one that made him so disgusting. People were gathering to send him to prison. But Uncle Ivan didn't plan to go there. He decided to run away. At night, while we were all asleep. He gathered everything valuable from the house, the gifts he gave to mom. My dad's money, and some papers. I woke up when I heard him rummaging through the drawers and cabinets. The evening before, he had argued with mom. And she had cried for a long time before going to sleep at a friend's place. By then, grandpa had become almost deaf. I decided to confront the villain. I flew out the window and stood by the gate. When Ivan walked out with a sack over his shoulder. Acting like a real thief, I shouted loudly for him to leave everything. He had stolen from our house and to go wherever he wanted. He got angry, started yelling at me, and demanded that I step aside. He yelled that he had hated me all his life and couldn't stand even looking at me. Let alone touching me. He was about to slap me or maybe just push me aside. Could a little girl like me stop him? Even a brave one? In reality. I hadn't locked the enclosure with the wolves for a long time. 
they were sitting inside it on their own. Without anyone reminding them. Maybe this saved my life because Ivan had a knife in his other hand. In one leap, Baron grabbed his hand with the knife. The knife fell, and the wolf knocked him to the ground. He got on top of him and held him down with his paws. Soon, the police arrived. And I had to be called to testify in court. They needed me as a witness. Mom begged me not to be scared and to tell the truth. And I wasn't afraid. I was even curious. In the courtroom, we saw Ivan for the last time. He was still there with his hand bandaged after being arrested. Igor had returned home by then. And I felt a boundless joy. The wolves were free to roam the yard again. The dark times had come to an end. And our morning rituals resumed. However, I didn't fall from the porch anymore when needed. I nudged their noses under their knees. My head was now above Baron's head when I gave him a smile. And soon, a miracle happened. Nida brought four pups into the kennel where I kept my dolls. Which I hadn't played with for a long time. Baron secretly told me that Nida had given him her heart. When he saved me from Ivan. He had to wait a long time for her to reciprocate his love. But it was worth it. All the pups grew up with us. My brother and I raised them into excellent wolves. Wolves always lived among us. And we lived among wolves. Good deeds tend to go unnoticed. And if a person does not explicitly say he has done a good deed, few will appreciate his actions. After all, most people take selfless giving for granted. But some people may still want to be thanked in return. Such as being the hero of this story. It's not human beings to thank for this. But wild animals. Help me live, work, play and be a responsible dog and wildlife owner. As citizens of this state, we all own wild animals. Because of the public's trust, wolves took over a part of the West. The first thing we need to know is that. Understanding wolf behavior may reduce anxiety and. Any potential dangers that may be encountered. The wolves Nadia and Baron are loyal and obedient animals since childhood in my grandfather's house. My grandfather found Nadia in the woods. Her eyes closed because she had just given birth. And Baron was a newborn baby bought from a hunter in the village. The grandfather loved the two wolves very much and used to take care of them and provide them with everything they needed. So that they would grow up quickly and they had a very close relationship. One winter day there was a gas leak and all the family members passed out in the house. The wolf Nadia saved the grandfather's family. My brother was five years old. The Baron managed to open the door and when the fireman arrived he was in leave with the rest of the family. The wolf Nadia slipped into the house through a small hole in the window where it brought out my brother who was five years old at the time. And Baron managed to open the door and he took out the fire. When the firefighters arrived they found these two animals did it all. They just surrounded the house to prevent the fire from s. Preeding to the next house. Doctors were only able to save my mother. Brother, grandfather and grandmother. While my father died of first degree burns. At this time, my mother was six months pregnant. But my father passed away so I never met my father. And even my mother didn't keep any pictures. When my mother and grandfather told me about him I can only imagine what his face will look like. My relationship with the two wolves, Nadia and Baron, is very close. They love me from birth and they won't let me play alone. They take care of me when everyone is away. When I was four years old, my grandpa and two wolves used to go to the fields to play together. I feel safe with them and I enjoy playing with them and running in the fields. I notice two wolves licking each other and loving each other. It is a great joy for me. My grandfather made them sleep together in their room. Which was in the garden of the house. And I am well aware of an important secret about these two animals. 
They date out of sight and make sure no one spots the two of them. Until I learned the secret of their relationship. They trusted me and they made sure I wouldn't tell anyone. My mom got married when I was five. And she told me before we got married that there was a very, very good man who wanted to live with us in our house. And he would be like a great stepdad. The man's name is Evan, and he comes to our house a lot. Sometimes with my mom. He seems like a nice guy. He always makes fun of me and my brother Igor, but buys us presents. I didn't reject my mom's marriage. Especially when I noticed that Evan was very good to her. After they got married. He moved in with us and my brother and I called him Uncle Evan. When the two wolves, Nadia and Baron. Noticed that Uncle Ivan had offended my family. They watched Uncle Ivan's behavior closely. But they would calm down quickly. Uncle Evan always hit my mom and brother Igor. And he threatened me too. But the reaction of the two wolves was unexpected. My grandfather got into a fight with Uncle Evan because he hit my mother. The grandfather threatened him that if Evan beat his mother again, he would report him to the police. But my mother begged him not to. Because she wanted the children to have a father. She told my grandfather that his behavior would improve. Every time Igor slept with my grandfather and grandmother in their room in order not to see Uncle Ivan. Because he hated Uncle Ivan so much. I slept in a small room with my little doll. The quarrels between my mother and Uncle Ivan became more and more violent. Because the man came into the house late at night drunk. And every time he asked my mother for money for alcohol and cigarettes. Because that person has stopped working and spends most of his time drinking at bars and then going home to sleep. And my mother couldn't do anything. She just stayed in one room and cried all day. Igor was constantly away from the house when he was 14. And when he noticed my mother was unhappy. He stopped studying and started working in the fields in a nearby village. Sleeping in a ramshackle hut in the fields. I'm not happy with what happened in our family. Because our lives changed a lot after Uncle Evan's arrival. Because of this. I spent most of the day outside the house with wolves. One day Uncle Evan robbed a clothing store in the village. And stole all the money he could find there. Which he then spent at the bar he used to buy booze for him and his friends. He walked out of the house and smoked his best cigarettes. The shopkeeper ordered him to return the money he had taken. Or he would file a complaint against him and put him in jail. This guy is in big trouble. One night, this man came back drunk and. Asked my mom to give him money to return to the owner of the bar. But my mother refused. So he hit her violently, took a knife from his pocket. And tried to stab her, but my mother escaped. At the same time, I woke up from my sleep. Opened the door of the house and found that my mother was no longer there. Uncle Evan stayed in the house and figured out a way to steal my mom's jewelry and money. My grandfather was hiding in his room. So the man took advantage of my mother and grandparents not being in the house, took the money and jewelry and left the house. When he found me standing in the doorway he yelled at me telling me he would never love me or my brother and he tried to cut me with a knife. I was desperately running away from this drunk when I saw Nadia and Baron behind me, as if they were waiting for me to give them the signal to attack Evan. The Baron attacks and grabs Uncle Evan before dropping him, before Nadia attacks him and takes the bag and knife. I yelled to my neighbors for help, while the two wolves kept chasing the thief, leaving no room for him to escape. Meanwhile, the neighbors came and surrounded the thief and called the police. Who came and arrested him immediately. And he was immediately taken to the police station. The wolf and I went home. And we waited until my mother came back. The next day, my brother, grandfather and grandmother also came back. Everyone in our family is very happy that we got rid of Uncle Ivan. 
who made our life hell because of these two brave animals. Uncle Ivan was twice convicted of theft and accused of assaulting my mother. And he was immediately imprisoned. While I was celebrating the good news with my mother and brother, my grandfather came to tell us that we had just learned that. Nadia had given birth to four puppies and we congratulated Nadia and Baron.